Welcome, Welcome to Shamba, Shamba Chef. Chef. In this series, we delve into the most traditional of African cultures, food. Traveling across Kenya to find out what we eat, where we get it, and how we cook it. We explore new ways to cook, make it quicker, safer, cleaner, and at half the cost. We meet families, enter their homes, and find out what happens in Kenyan kitchens. Learning, giving advice, transforming kitchens, and most importantly, enjoying food. Mm. Welcome to Shamba Share. Today we are in Deya, Kiambu County, to see Mama George for the second time. And it'll be great to see how she's getting on with her new kitchen and her new stove. And more excitedly, to see the new baby. Do you think Mama George is getting in that kitchen and making some food for his family? You mean making some healthy meals? Yep. I don't know. Well, let's find out. Okay. <laughs> when we first visited Mama and Baba George, they had three boys. George, Simon and Daniel and a new baby on the way. Before the baby arrived, we helped transform their kitchen and kitchen garden. It's now been three months. Let's see how they are coping with the change. Hello, Baba George. Uh -huh. Mama, Mama George. George, congratulations. Is that the new baby? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah. I told you about it. It's going to be a girl. Oh, so great. how is everything going? It's good. Baba George. Yeah. Are you getting more into that kitchen and making some good food for her? You promised, remember? Yeah, only one day. Only one only. day. Are you eating well? Yes, I'm eating well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They're going to bring you an expert chef to help you make some delicious and nutritious meal. When we first visited Mama George's kitchen, she was cooking on three stones. The kitchen was dark, smoky, and the walls were covered in soot. We got our Shamba Chef team in to transform it, including a new stove, the Kuni Okoa. I wonder if the kitchen has become dark and smoky again? Wow, Mama George, yeah. very clean. You know, the first time I came in here, I could barely breathe. I was just choking. <laughs> but now it's so fresh, there's so much light also, it's good. It's good for me, uh -huh. it's good for my family, uh -huh. for my health. Uh -huh. For my baby's health, uh -huh. everything is great. Can I help you with the baby? Yes. You can take her. So how are you finding your new kitchen? My kitchen is good. Speaking of firewood, it's drying very well there and mm -hmm. it have less smoke because it's ready to be used. And uh, what about the chimney and then the windows? The smoke is going outside very well. Tell me about the stove. How is that going? I was using 1,300 per month mm -hmm. and now I'm using 400 per month. Wow! Yeah. You're saving 900 shillings. Mm -hmm. That's good. When the child is asleep, uh -huh. I came here and I cook faster. Within an hour, I have finished Before that Before baby job. even wakes up. Yeah. My neighbors also want to know about this stove and where they can get it. Oh, great. You know what? We can actually help them. And your kitchen garden, how are you finding it? I'm taking my skumas and spinach there for my family and I can sell it as well. Oh, great. Yeah. And you're spending less on food now because you're getting your food now from your kitchen garden. Yes. It's about saving. <laughs> <laughs> Any problem with your, with your crops? Yes. The cabbage is having a pest, so I need some help. We have some experts that uh, can help you with that. All right, Mama. Yeah. Okay. Have Destiny back. Thank okay. You. We are going to see you guys later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that kitchen is still looking fresh and clean. I mean, they have a cute new baby. It looks like their lives have been transformed. At first it costs, but now their firewood costs have been cut down by half. And they're actually making money from their kitchen garden. Yeah, that's true. But there seems to be a pest problem there. I, I know the right expert for that. Well, I want to help out with their neighbors and I know just the person. Speaking of neighbors, mm -hmm. do you remember Mama Lucy? Yeah. Yeah? I want to go and visit her and see how she's getting on with her new store. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Last time, we had a cook-off and Mama Lucy made the most delicious and nutritious meal and won a fantastic Kunyokoa stove. She was so excited. I hope the stove has helped her. Shosho, sure, sure. let me help you with this, Bana. Shosho. Sure, sure. oh. <laughs> Do you need help? Shosho, sure, sure, this is heavy. Before you got this new Kunyokoa stove, 
How many times did you used to go and collect firewood? So that means in a month you used to go eight times. With the new Kunio Koa stove, how many times do you go to collect uh, firewood? Now you go twice a month. And that means that you actually have a lot more time to do other things. Uh-huh. Na kusesa na watoto. Ah, so sure, you have time to farm, you have time to spend with your grandchildren. Let's, let's, let's get going, guys. Collecting firewood is a two-hour round trip for our grandma. She used to have to do it eight times a month and now only does it twice a month. That kunyokoa is making a big difference to her life. I hope it is not far back to Shosho's farm. This weighs a lot. Her daughter is cooking with the kuni okoa. So, let's see what she thinks. We have seen a difference because it is using less firewood, no smoke. And my mother here is now relaxed. She has time to sing for her grandkids. Yes. <laughs> When we first visited Mama George's kitchen garden, it was a disaster. The soil was poor, chickens were a problem, and she needed water. Well, with some great advice and seedlings from Kenya Highland Seed and a simple drip kit from Hotipro, we transformed it. The crops are growing well, and she's even able to sell some. But now, there is a pest problem. Let's see what Sami from Osho thinks. Mama George is doing pretty well, except for a few challenges. Uh, one is the aphids, and aphids will affect the kales and, and the cabbages. The number two and three problem will have one solution for them. One is the diamond back moth damage. It will make uh, round holes. Okay. The number three problem now is the cabbage so fly. Now this looks like a tear. The two problems, you'll find them uh, persistent during dry weather. Osho Chemicals will have a solution now for the two. I'll have this product called HALT. What is inside here is not a conventional chemical. It is a bacteria. So this bacteria is the natural enemy for the pest. And there will be no resistance against this product. What about the aphid problem? Aphids are stubborn pests during dry weather. Now, I have Osho Thion. It will handle all those visible aphids plus those that you're not seeing. As with all pesticides, read the instructions carefully. And where can we get these products from? Uh, these products, uh, you get them from the local agrovet shops. Is it expensive? We have a price policy which uh, dictates that uh, we should be able to help farmers out, giving them very affordable products and which, are, uh, which have good quality. When you're doing ca kitchen gardening, you have small pack sizes of the same for affordability and availability as well. I'll leave you okay. behind the then I, will, I have some something to catch up. Thank you very much, Sammy. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Right. I think we should pick some spinach. Okay. I mean, these green leafy vegetables are very good for your blood, you know. Okay. <laughs> ah, that should be enough. Now let's go meet Evelyn. She's a nutritionist. She'll be able to advise you on what you should eat now that uh, you have a young child. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Hey there, Evelyn. Uh, so I'm just from uh, Mama George's kitchen garden and we're collecting spinach. Are they good for her? Spinach yes. is great, especially for a breastfeeding mom. Mm -hmm. And it's good for health and development. Well, so is that it? She has a, an awesome looking baby. Remember the 1,000 days we talked about? Yep. The time from the start of pregnancy to when a baby turns to two years is called the 1,000 day period. These 1,000 days are the most important in a child's life for growth and development. For your child to grow healthy and strong and be able to learn well in school, the most important thing is good nutrition. Eating a diverse, balanced diet for you and your baby is the best thing for your child's future. What else do we need to know about uh, Destiny, who is only six weeks old? From uh, zero, the time she's born, to six months, only breastfeeding because breast milk has all the food and all the water that the baby deserves. So it's important what mama eats because that's what Destiny will get. Yes, it is. I felt very hungry during the day. You need to eat healthy snacks like fruits, vegetables, even milk. Mama needs to eat a balanced diet so that she can be able to keep Destiny healthy and to grow well. 
she needs to eat at least one food from the different food groups as is shown in the wheel of food. A balanced diet has foods from different groups and we should eat a food from each of these groups every day. There are five groups. These are animal protein, help with growth and strength for strong bones, teeth and muscles. Plant protein, help to make healthy blood and provide fiber for healthy stomachs and digestion. Vegetables, help with good growth of bones and good vision. Fruits, give lots of energy and help stop infections and sickness. Starchy staples, provide energy for work and movement. And those sound like very good uh, ingredients for a chef. So guys, I'll be off to the market. See you later. Okay. All right. Mama George, let's yeah. go and meet up your neighbors because I have some experts that want to talk to them. Okay, let's okay. go. Mama George's neighbors have seen her kitchen and really want to find out more about the stove. Well, Purity from Ban is back to advice. You've had the Jiko for quite a while now. Yes. How has the Jiko been? It's easy to light. It saves a lot of firewood. It doesn't have many smoke. No more coughing. So wow. everything is great. As compared to your old stove, how much is it you're saving with this? Jiko? I was using 1,300 per month. Yes. But now I'm using only 400 per month. Wow. Yes. That's quite some saving. It is. So this is Kuniokoa. And kuniokoa is a firewood jiko. Mm -hmm. And the advantage of using this jiko versus your old jiko is that this one has better savings on your firewood. The other advantage of using kuniokoa is that it, it smokes less. And that is why you had Mama George saying that she doesn't cough anymore, she doesn't have eye irritation. It's also long lasting. This is stainless steel. So it's a good quality material that will make your jiko last for longer. It comes with a wood shelf so that when you're cooking, this is where you put your pieces of wood. Mm -hmm. And then you can light your jiko. It also comes with a nice ashtray. So when, you, when you're cooking, your house remains clean. So once you're done cooking, you just need to remove your ashtray, go pour out the ash and return it. So your jiko will also remain clean. Wow. It's good, good eh? How long does it take to light? It's only like one minute. You see? Yeah. So it saves her the time to light. Mm -hmm. You need to light the jiko from outside. It gets a bit smoky when you're lighting the jiko. Mm -hmm. But after that, you can put it in the house or you can as well cook from outside your house. And do these handles get hot? No, no, no. The handles, they've been made in a very good material so that when you're carrying around the jiko, mm -hmm. it does not get hot. Can it hold a big sufuria? Yes, it can hold a big sufuria because mm -hmm. I can cook uh, a food of all of you and other people, so it's a good jiko. You can also see at the top here, there are some serrations on the jiko. Mm -hmm. This is to support the sufuria so that it doesn't slip off. So right now I'm going to show you how to light the jiko. Mm -hmm. And the first thing is that you put the wood inside there. And then you need the smaller pieces of wood. And these ones, we are going to put them from the top. And then from there, you need a piece of paper. Roll it up. And then you take your matchbox, okay. you put it inside. Can we get one? You just mm -hmm. walk into any supermarket mm -hmm. and you can be able to buy this jiko from there. If anything breaks yes. from the jiko, can I get a spare ah. part of it? The jiko is made in Kenya, mm -hmm. so you can always get the spare parts. Mm -hmm. In every town there is a warranty center where you can take your jiko if it has any issue. The other thing is also we have a customer care center where you can send in a free SMS and you will get the assistance that you needed. Is the jiko affordable? So one, the cost is very low and secondly, you can also be able to get the savings from the jiko. You can actually buy the jiko on credit from a, a bank mm -hmm. or any financial institution. Another great way to buy one of these jikos on credit is through your sako. Veronica from Cusco is here to tell us more about it. Are you members of SACOs? They are SACO and oh. they are all members. Cusco offers loans to SACOs so that SACOs can buy clean and efficient cook stoves for their members. The loan that we will give to the SACO is only at an interest of 6%. How long do I take to pay this loan? The loan that we will offer to your SACO, we will give them a maximum repayment period of six months. But again, we are also looking at the savings, like Mama George mentioned, that she saves 900 per month. And assuming it costs about 3,000. With your 900, in less than four months, yes. you'll have cleared your yes. loan. Are you going to be purchasing these chickens? No, yes, of course one. we are. Not just one? Uh, many. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Veronica. See you after the break when Mama George and our chef, Martin, make us a delicious and nutritious meal. 
Do you want more information on how to transform your kitchen? Visit our website at www.shambashef.com. You can find delicious recipes, cooking and nutrition tips, download leaflets, and find out more about the kitchen makeovers shown in the program. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Wondering how much your agribusiness will cost and how much profit you make? Wonder no more. Simply visit our website www.donlosetheplot.tv Click on Budget Mkononi and you will see how profitable your business can be. With Budget Mkononi, you can build personalized budgets on a range of commodities in a quick and easy manner. The tool also has farming tips. So, use Budget Mkononi to budget anytime and anywhere. Welcome back. I am here with Chef Martin and yes. Mama George. There you are, Melvin. Hey guys. Hello. 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 What did you bring us? Eggs and milk. Animal protein. Uh, let's talk about the milk. It's a very good because it helps with your blood, muscles and bones. And especially for mama who's breastfeeding, mama you need to be taking a lot of milk. Okay. When it comes to the eggs, they, they give you energy and also are very good for your body. I've got flour and rice. Nice. Such staples are good for general energy for the body. We've got lentils and there's uh, groundnuts. Plant protein. Now they give you a healthy stomach and they also help you when it comes to digestion. Oh, I have lemons. lemons here. And I've got mangoes. Mm. Fruits are very good because they keep your immunity very strong and so they protect you from diseases. Tomatoes, red mm. onions and carrots. Generally <laughs> vegetables are good because they keep you healthy. But orange vegetable like the carrots they give you good eyesight and are also very good for your skin green succulent looking spinach good addition. all the way from mama george's <laughs> kitchen garden and they're very good for mama george because she's breastfeeding all right we have all the ingredients please make mama some snacks she's eating for two now not just mama i want snacks too <laughs> really melvin i love snacking yeah okay yep. your kitchen is already set up you can yeah. see your stove so take it away Mama George, we're using Kuni Okoa. Yeah, it's easy to light and it saves firewood. You know, guys at home, I think we are trying to lie to them. Okay. So we can start by lighting this one. Okay. So I can compare it with the three stones. This is amazing because I can see there's no smoke. Even I have to tell people I'm using firewood. I can see already this one uses more firewood. We can do the test now. I have two sufurias with the same amount of water. And you see which one boils first. There you are, guys. We can see the Jiko is already lit. This one is still quite smoky, <laughs> though. This one, it is controlled, uses less firewood. Because this one, we use one, two, three, and that one over ten. I can see pots are boiling. <laughs> so what is yeah. in there? So it's basically water. You water? Are All, All that time? Water. <laughs> we had to prove which okay. one boils first. And uh -huh. in fact, this one boils first in like two minutes this, this one. one yeah but by the end of the day you've gone you have so much loss so you're using that one oh. so this is way much better mm -hmm. and i can't wait to buy two or three and take to my mom's place so what's on the menu we'll be doing yellow lentils we'll be serving that with the peanut and coriander rice and then we'll be serving it with the wilted spinach yeah what's that what's wilted? It basically just find the spinach just with oil immediately it shrinks take it out and then we'll be doing the fruit. Okay, that sounds really good, but uh, yes. what are the snacks? We'll be mixing the yellow lentils with one teaspoon of flour, then spice it up with the cumin and the salt, then make round balls, then press them, then we'll be pan frying them. I have the main meal and then I can snack again and snack again, you know. I can't wait to taste. Okay, okay. All we'll right. see you guys later. Mama George doesn't enjoy cooking with the three stones anymore. She wants to stick to the kunioko. She moved from there and she's gone. <laughs> yeah. The menu though. I didn't know just by adding a few stuff to rice, like yeah. ground nuts and coriander, it makes it much more nutritious and maybe more tastier. Let's start with the spinach. Chef Martin actually said that uh, the less you cook it, the more healthy it is. But to most of us, it's always been like cook food. Especially to you, I think. The more you cook, the black it becomes, the better. I can't wait to taste it. Can't wait also, yeah. especially those snacks. <laughs> We are going to start now the real cooking and I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Let us add onions inside the pot. We're going to let that cook 
we are going to add some ginger then the next thing add some garlic then we continue stirring don't let the garlic brown just cook it to a point where you just smell the aromas so the next thing we are going to do we are going to add some of the peanuts after that we are going also to add coriander the next thing that you're going to add inside is the rice so we add to the coriander the peanuts ginger garlic the onions so the next thing that you're going to do remember our boiled water yes. we are going to add it inside add water until it reaches one inch over the rice you are going to add a little bit of salt so you are going to take it to three stones so that you can continue cooking other stuff there yeah? okay. then on the other side we can be left with doing the yellow lentils we start with that for yeah? we are going to add some oil we are going to add the onions inside after that add some garlic now that's when we add our ginger we don't want to brown our onions our garlic and ginger we just want it to be translucent and to be soft then we are going to add it to our ginger and garlic we are going to cover it because we, do, we want it to cook fast and to maintain all the aromas we are going to give it two three minutes this jiko cooks fast yes yeah because i didn't expect them to be much even less than two minutes we are going to add the curry powder then we'll add turmeric then we stir so that everything comes together yep. so what you're going to add the next thing is the tomato paste and as you can see already our sauce is thick we are going now to add the, the lentils one thing about these ones you have to pre-soak them and remember we have to be left with some for the parties so we are going to add our milk into our lentils you have to keep on stirring because you want all the flavors to get into the lentils then we're going to add our boiled water we're just going to stir and season with the salt we're going to leave this one to boil let me check on our rice because i think it is ready yeah yes our rice is ready so we can take it out so what you're going to do now we are going to cut our carrots we add to the stew then we leave it to boil and our food will be ready okay. and you can see we are still using our kuni okwa yep. cooking very fast so after that we're going to leave that to simmer and infuse been simmering yeah you can see everything we are going to take it on the side then we can start with the spinach if you're doing vegetables clean them well we're going to cut it chunky mm -hmm. and you're going to add some cooking oil so here we go we are going to cover it then you're going to give it some few minutes so that it might cook let us go to parties at least mushy so that it can stick together i'm going to add some onion and we have garlic we're just going to add some cumin and we are going to add salt i'm going to add some chopped coriander and remember we are going to add some chopped spinach inside we are going to add a little bit of flour then we are going to add one okay. egg mix it mix it yeah i think that, that that one is okay i think we can check on our spinach yeah we don't want to overcook it and this one is done we are going to chop our spinach the one that we are going to add to the parties as you can see they're even bringing more color let's put our pan on our jiko and then we are going to add some oil i think we can do the first one so we are just going to make them round first and then you press so and then after that one thing i love you, you have to note this when they are cooking you'll see even there the color will start to change yes. let's flip the first one it has brown well nicely the next thing that we're going to do now going to the fruits i think the first thing we are going to do is peeling the mangoes mm -hmm. i want us to serve it on a plate with the skin on so we're just going to do like that then we take our lemon because the mango is sweet the lemon is going to give that tartness on top then the honey you can drizzle it simple easy we have our rice with coriander and peanuts then we have our carrots and yellow lentils we have our wilted spinach 
and your snacks. Yellow lentils, coriander, and spinach patties. And we have Mama George's favorite, mangoes, drizzled with some lemons, some honey, and some peanuts. <laughs> hey guys. Hello. We are here. And we are so ready. Right? What do you guys think? Is it nice? Yes. Mm. Ah. Baba George. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> when I love something, you'll know it. This one, super. Guys, taste the spinach. It's nicely crunchy. Three minutes, just, just oil and salt. So all the nutrients are just intact. Yes, yes. Snack time, guys. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. The kids this time, they are scared of eating the spinach. Mm -hmm. We added the spinach, so more nutrients, more flavor, more color. And you can mm. do this in many things, the mm. beans, the lentils. When they come from school, just tell them to pick one. Okay, time for the fruit. Just going to scoop it. Yeah. It tastes really good. Yes. Yeah. Baba George, yeah. what do you think about this awesome food? Mm, it is very sweet. It's nice, eh? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, Chef Martin, yes. eventually, how was your experience with the stove? It's so good. It doesn't get hot on the handles. Uh -huh. So you can transfer it anytime you want. And it doesn't smoke. And right. you know, it doesn't use much firewood. Mama George, what do you think about the shamba? My shamba is great uh, because that's where I came out with my skooma, spinach and the onions ready to be used. Mama George, what did you learn about nutrition? The first 1,000 days are very important for my child. For Destiny, is good. Bless feeding her for six months without anything else. And I have to eat five types of food every day. What about the tips from Chef Martin? Chef Martin teaches me a lot today. <laughs> Everything is wow. Thank you so much Mama George. Thank you Baba George. And the boys, thank you. Yeah. We will see you next time. When we visit another Kenyan kitchen here on <laughs> Shamba, Shamba Chef. Chef.